next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, Bo Crusher. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 37 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, awesome. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so since he earned the strap. We'll see if he can keep it here tonight against the number one contender. And they separate. So unable to connect on the uppercut. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. 
postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. Now he's on top of him looking for That's going to do it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Oh, my goodness. I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush full force full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Austin. All right, so there he is. He came in the hunted. He remains as such. Congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in retaining his title. One of the best welterweight champions in UFC history.